So this is just a quick demo of what the arm is capable of. Um, my goal for this was to make it interactive with other users. This the sensor replicates an EMG sensor or a muscle contraction sensor. Um, I put a force sensor on it, so when I push it, uh, when, when, I, when I apply force to it, it will replicate muscle contractions. This headset is capable of reading um, 10 different channels of the brain, as well as facial gestures. So right now, when, I, when the combination of a muscle contraction and the raise of the eyebrows, it will trigger a shake hand function. The arm will actually come up and wait until you actually start shaking the hand to initiate the, the rest of the function. So again, it's interactive. And uh, you know you could actually um, you know for for everyday use it's it's a big part of prosthetics. So this is just a start uh, of what I have for the future. This is uh, the the second generation of the arm, and I'm sure there's many generations coming from this. Um, already, the, the next generation, uh, what I'm working on right now, is increasing the strength, increasing the functionality, decreasing the weight, making it easier on the user, and also, of course, decreasing the cost. Um, I'm working with newer motor technologies and, mo and newer gearing systems to get a lot of, lot of power and torque out of a small, lightweight system. There's also efficiency. Um, currently, I have a 7.4 volt, 5,000 milliamp hour battery within the bicep. That's enough to power the rest of the arm, but I still wanted to make it more efficient. I wanted to go days without even charging the battery. And with this new system, it's going to be extremely efficient with the motors and the gearing system. It's going to require far, far less you know, power and it's going to make it a lot easier on the user. Even with the hand, again I was talking about the, the newer hand uh, involving all the motors within the palm. That's just the start of this. And I, I want to surpass human strength and functionality as much as I can and of course the cost. I want to I be able to give back to the prosthetic users and a lot of the amputees and uh, you know give them something that, that they'll be wanting to use. Um, a lot of the, the current prosthetics on the market that are advanced weigh a lot and a lot of the users say that they're too bulky, they're too heavy and they almost don't want to use them because of that. Uh, this arm right now weighs about nine pounds and I hope the future arms weigh, weigh far less than that. Uh, you know a few pounds, something that you won't even notice that's there but will also function far beyond uh, a human arm. You're, Thank you. Uh, I'm really waiting to see what uh, happens to you in the future because I think you're going uh, you're going through the stratosphere with this kind of stuff. And I tell you what, it's I don't think you could use the knowledge that you have in a better way. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely you know my goal is to you know help people with this.